and we're trying to find our way back. And so I think, okay, what's the way back? And now you understand the symptomology and the root cause of our disconnection. And we're, we're struggling with this consciousness to try to solve problems in our personal life and the lives and, and the situation and conditions of the world. And we're like um, a person who is asleep. We are asleep. We cannot see the truth anymore. We do not know what it is. And I think about, you know, every human being. In the United States alone, you think about all the humans that have been traumatized. You know, World War I, World War II, uh, the Revolutionary War, the uh, uh, Mexican-American War, the Korean conflict, the Gulf War. You know, in Europe, we had the Crusades. And we had the Inquisition where 20 million women were killed. Not to mention the millions more that were wounded and traumatized uh, in horrific ways. And the Civil War. Civil War. 600,000 Americans killed. And killed in most horrific ways you cannot imagine. Can you imagine being 50 feet away from the other person because that's the length of the ability of the gun to shoot and when it shoots it creates this big hole in your body or blows off your arm, stuff like that. Horrific stuff, I don't want to get into details about it. But imagine that. And then the hundreds of thousands more, over a million, wounded, <laughs> terribly. So there's no person in the entire world that hasn't had some kind of soul trauma in their legacy. Passed down from generation to generation until it's here with us today. There is a way out of this. And it's going to be led by women. This is a very serious responsibility. It was said in the stories that between four to six thousand years ago, there began the great masculine imbalance. Prior to that time, this pendulum between masculine imbalance and feminine imbalance was going on since the beginning of time. And time began when I had guilt, shame, remorse, anger, rage, jealousy, envy, putting me into the past. Or I'm having fear projecting into the future, but I'm not here anymore. I am not here in this moment. I am in the past or in the future, even today. Because this, this is a legacy of a spiritual sickness passed down from generation to generation that we all have it. And so, Four to six thousand years ago, a great masculine imbalance occurred. The world's spiritual leaders communicating by the internet, not the internet, communicated with each other, knew this time was coming, and decided to hide the sacred teachings which have a feminine foundation. It came from the womb in the center of the universe, as we call it. And we've also forgotten the sacredness of women and why women are sacred. And I'm going to share that with you. And so the spiritual leader decided to hide the sacred teaching. And they knew that all things feminine were going to be smashed in horrific ways. High priestess cultures, goddess cultures, women, Mother Earth-based cultures. Mother Earth. We are still in this time of masculine imbalance. All things feminine are being desecrated in an, an unbelievable, sustained way. And you as women who are born from your mother who has this lineage of pain and suffering that has gone for thousands of years that is now 
energetically in your bodies downloads into the fetus directly. You are inheriting the lineage of collective consciousness of women and the lineage of your own ancestry. You're born as a woman and then you come into this world of great masculine imbalance and suffer your own life experience to add to that. And we're all complicit, men and women, in what has unfolded and what is continuing to unfold. Women now are being called to restore their own center of power. Because even with all of this violence that has been done to women for thousands of years, you still hold the sacredness within your body, in the womb. All things in our understanding of the ancient teachings comes from the womb at the center of the universe. And the identical womb is in every woman. That field of sacred power from the center of the universe which had the power of creation and creativity is in women. What we have forgotten during the masculine imbalance is that nothing new can be created without the sacred power of the feminine coming into the center of the outer world starting from the inner world. Right? I've talked from a totally selfish standpoint. No matter what you do, I'm telling you, without, without restoring the sacred feminine, nothing new is going to occur in this world. Nothing. I don't, we can't think ourselves out of these problems. What happens in the traditional understanding of the sacred power of women is that women can take the vibration, the holy sacredness within their womb, when they work together in ceremony and put that womb out here so that a container is sacred containers created in the ceremonial space for something new to be birthed. Then the men can stand in the center and move the sacred masculine to create something in the outer world. 